seven was at uh, Champion Sports Med up in, in Boston with with Lenny and with Mike Reinold, which you know is is world class and their their approach again with with throwing arms for sure and and they have gymnastics uh, aspect to what they do and, and some phenomenal stuff. I'm sure, yeah. you, I'm sure you learned yeah. one or two well, things there. Yeah, no, yeah, we, <laughs> I learned a ton. I think to Aaron's point, I think the stories you come away with are are incredibly helpful in your interaction, especially as a new therapist because. Mm. As a new therapist, I remember, and Aaron and I probably both maybe at that time looked a little young, and I we exaggerated I would, the truth a couple times yeah, as well. I mean, that's, that's what it was. Like you, you get the question, you always get the question, "How old are you really?" And it's always like the you know the forty to 30. fifty to something always. year old person who's like, yeah, "How how old are you?" And it's like your first session, you're yeah, like, oh, totally. "I don't really know how to answer this." But if you can come up with a couple of stories like a story like that, then then I think that helps a ton. So yeah, I would, I would always reference that as like as true clinical experiences because I think it was. Um, and then you can kind of lean on those people like Mike and Lenny specifically had been kind of all over the world and done all kinds of different things. Mike had been with the Red Sox and they'd both been with Kevin Wilk in, um, in Birmingham and you can just, you can kind of lean on a lot of their stories and a lot of their experiences to, to help grow your bank a little bit, you know, accelerate it a little bit. Yeah. The other thing that I think I got <laughs> from that process was the, because Mike has done so much um, Con Ed stuff himself, he's just given all of these Con Ed courses by basically everybody else in our industry and in the strength and conditioning industry. And so he's got this big database of stuff. And so one thing I had when I went there was access to all of that. And so I was, I was you know, away from my wife and family and everybody was there by myself. So I had time to just like pour through this. So my time not at the clinic was like watching pouring. Red Sox games. I did go to some yeah, red Sox every night. Time. I, I'd had plenty of fun <laughs> while I was there, but but I spent tons of time just pouring through like Charlie Weingrass stuff and and Mike Robertson stuff and Mike Boyle stuff, and I had to go spend time with Eric Cressy. So I, I really think it was my biggest thing I took away from that was my exposure to all of these other things, this big wide variety of things that influenced Mike and influenced Lenny, and then I kind of got to use to influence me. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you spent a fair amount of time prepping for the interview because I know I called you a few times where you were in Boston. Probably just and there's, had a beer there's probably hours or something. of prep. Oh, prep no. me for you. Oh, wait, oh yeah, for my phone thing? call, yeah. No, 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 no. I was, <laughs> I, was, I was living in an Airbnb at the time, and oh, yeah. well, the first time we chatted, one of my friends was actually visiting from Sacramento, and he was in the room with me, and I, was, yeah, I didn't really prep him. Yeah, four, 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 four beers, beers deep, yeah. That's, yeah. Good. <laughs> that's why it went so Candid well. That's what we're doing right here. Here yeah. we are. Yeah, exactly. Getting real. Yeah.